Work, socializing, shopping, travel. These days we live our lives online as much as not. But with increased connectedness, there's also a greater and more varied range of potential dangers to avoid. That's why this campaign is urging people to think before you connect. Well, we've had quite a lot of um, people coming to us with fraud. Uh, we've had lots of people coming with us with scam. People have won lotteries. People have been approached by different people. And um, we, we always like, like to, to reassure them that before you take any action and answer any email or, or uh, any request that is made of you, to take the necessary precautions to ensure your safety and that of your family. The message with online scams is, if it looks too good to be true, it probably is. It's reinforced by all the different organizations involved in the campaign, from the Royal Gibraltar Police to the Office of Fair Trading and Jib Telecom. Of particular concern, however, is the safety of children, highlighted by Childline and the GRA. We've been doing a survey for the past two years, and the survey is really mainly to find out uh, how popular and what is the usage of social media, okay? And with social media, of course, you also get apps. But really, in that survey, uh, what we've targeted are all the middle schools, that includes all the year sevens, uh, Bayside and Westside. So we've got a nice range. You've got year sevens, year nines, and year elevens. And what we found out that it's, it's pretty obvious that in today's world, especially in Gibraltar, students will use social media. But what we've found out is that a lot of them, again, do not know how to use their privacy settings or are not fully aware. Other times they, they put on pictures or share pictures which really they haven't told other people about. And that's what we want, that's the message we want them to actually empower to them. You know, use your privacy settings, be aware of the dangers of the of internet and social media and so forth. Our main concern is when, when you have a mother concerned about her child, um, taking the unnecessary risk and we want to make sure that uh, parents in particular ensure that the ch uh, child's safety taking the necessary precautions and that is why we do this uh, and to raise awareness of the dangers of using the internet without protection. There's an emphasis on protecting your information from the worry that a potential employer will find photos you'd rather they didn't to the danger that your identity or even personal safety might be a threat from a stranger. Nowadays it's quite easy for anyone to create a fake profile. So again, another message here is be fully aware of what it is that you know who is the person you're speaking to on the other side. Before you accept a friend, because once you accept someone as a friend, you're literally inviting them to your profile, you're inviting them to your life. Be fully aware, be certain who that person really is. So that is a message that we do reinforce, with, especially with all the students. Which uh, privacy controls, I suppose, are particularly important? Obviously, they vary by the different apps and websites in, in the specifics, but what is the most important thing to look out for when you're setting up the privacy controls? Well, one of the most important things is that, um, and not everyone is aware of this, when you open for the first time, let's say, a Facebook account, your privacy controls are actually set to the minimum. So what you need to do, okay, and people don't realize is that from then on, you can actually set them to the maximum. And you can decide then what information, what pictures, what conversations you want to give out and, sh and share. With privacy settings constantly changing and new scams being thought up, it's important to keep up to date. For more information on how to stay safe online, you can contact the Citizens Advice Bureau or find the GRA on Facebook.